So don't think everything in there is crap because it's not. It's a lot of crap in there, but everything is not crap. Never of the year we are in 2023 and i'm ready to rock and roll okay i'm jaya but you can call me holly J. if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by if you've been riding with your girl thank you so much for sticking with me this is our year okay but let's get into the video so yeah i saw the infamous post that said 49 cent sale January 23rd, I was like, I've heard of this before and I'm not missing it again. So I put up to Ross kind of late because I like to go early to get the good stuff. But I was like, I gotta go at least. So I did. My personal experience, it was a fluke. But the people in my comments on TikTok, there's some people that work there and everything. They told me it's not a fluke, but Ross employees will take what's good or, you know, like they take things for themselves. So you really just got to know and you got to go early. But I did go and I did find some things. I didn't spend a hundred dollars though. I normally have to like take things out of my buggy to not spend over a hundred dollars at Ross. But this time it was not the best Ross day. I spent about 70 bucks, um, but I also bought this for my niece and this doesn't count. So if you are interested in seeing what I got the day of the 49 cent sale, but nothing was 49 cents, but you just interested in seeing what I was able to find at Ross because I'll be trying to tell y'all Ross got some pieces, okay? Accessories, shoes, bags, and outerwear are my favorite things to get from Ross. Um, and so I'm ready to show y'all my new stuff. So we've done this together before once before i think i really like this on my channel and i told y'all i wanted to bring it and keep it going but you know life be life -y. so new year better me and i'm ready so let's get into it i'm in my beanbag chair we chilling we vibing let's get into it so the first thing i'm gonna show you guys is this cute little purse it's in this new color with gold hardware. I love this. I think this looks really classy and classic. I love a top handle. So this was like super cute to me. I think the size is really nice. And then it does have the gold strap if you want it to make it a crossbody. Personally, I probably won't do this. It might be convenient. I might hold it like this, but I like the top handle style of this bag. And that's what really got me to get it. This cost me about $12.99 and it's by Imperia. I didn't, really, I've never really seen this brand um, in Ross before, but that day there was a lot of different color bags in this style. So this must be, you know, a brand that came through, trickled through, and we might see in the future. I've never really seen it, but this was my first time, and I thought this was super cute. Um, I have, like, these nude shoes, and they're not the perfect nude. They kind of have that pink hue, and I was like, this is the perfect bag to go with my shoes. Hold on. Let's get my shoes. Un momento. Okay, so these are the shoes I'm talking about. They're not just, like, a true nude. They may look like it, but they have like that hint of pink because you know, when companies make nudes, they're thinking about who. Anyways, but yeah, yeah, I did that. Mm-hmm, I did. Because I've tried to get a purse for these shoes before and it's tricky, but this one, I'm happy about, so. So, moving on. I'm telling y'all, it's not a lot. I'm sorry, it's gonna be a short one. Um, I'm coming harder, okay? So don't worry. 
but I just wanted to, you know, follow up on my promise that I was going to show y'all what I got. So here it is. The next piece is this cute pink quilted bomber style jacket. It's so cute and like street style. Um, Y'all already know me. The color was already a win because like this is like the pink that I really like. Like it's like a fuchsia pink like this is the pink that I really do like and then just the quilting on it the zipper the collar like it's really effortless but really could make a statement however I want to use it whether street style or just the jacket like I really just really liked it so I got this for $12.99 okay and tell me she's not her like tell me she's not popping like, tell me she not her for $12.99. That's all I be trying to say. So, the next thing I got was this little shirt. Nothing special, but, like, when it comes to clothes, like, you got to know what hits. Like, you just have to know. Like, this is something to have. It's a nice green color. It has you know very clean additions to it as far as like text on it it's not distracting um it has a little bit of words on the show on the what is this the arm but even the fit like this is almost like baby tee style and i got it in my regular size actually no i did i got it in the small and it's cotton so i know it's gonna like shrink so this is like really cute just effortless cute vibes um, with some tennis shoes, dress it down, dress it up, you know, I thought it was cute, it called my name, it's a good color, it looks good, you know, for it to be in Ross, like that's the thing, like, the things that I'm gonna get from Ross are gonna be quality pieces that can be used, again, you can tell what's crap in there, you can tell what's not. So don't think everything in there is crap because it's not. It's a lot of crap in there, but everything is not crap. So um, I did get this for six and nine and nine. Um, and yeah, we're pulling up the rear here already, guys. Alrighty, this one is quality over quantity this time. Y'all know I'm actually not that girl. Like I really like things. I like to get a lot of things. I like to get a bang for my buck. I like to feel like, dang, I just went and caught, like, I just really added to my closet for this much. Um, but like I said, this time it was not giving that. And that happened. But I really feel good about the pieces I got. And so the last piece I got is this leather, mm, take that back, pleather black puffer vest. How cute is this? How chic and edgy. Yes. Super chic, super edgy, super feminine, and great for layering um, with like, you know, a sweatsuit. You know, actually my homegirl really almost like, she inspired this purchase because she had on this really cute pink sweatsuit from Walmart. And she just put on like, she has the, um, what's that fabric? She has, like, she doesn't have a leather one like this, but it's like that jacket material vest. And the way she wore her, like, little Uggs and her sweatsuit and her vest on top, I was like, that is so cute. And I love how she styled her sweatsuit. So, she inspired this purchase for sure. But I thought that with the leather look, that even elevated it even more. And this can be dressed up and down for sure. And even more so up than anything. And then it's black. So, you can't go wrong with that with the nice metal zipper. It actually has these two buttons here if you want it to, you know, really wrap up. Um, I'm really, this was probably my favorite of the bunch. And I got this for $18.99. And it's the Vigo brand. And it has pockets. Yeah. I thought this was a vibe. So, that's one of the other things I got. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed just kind of like, you know, seeing my face again and this little haul. I promise 
I will be back and I will do this more. This was more of a quality versus a quantity haul. Like I said, it really was not the best Ross day. I really went in there thinking I was gonna come up for real on like some deals. And so I thought I was gonna like get a lot for even less than 70, you know what I mean? So when I did see some things, I was like, okay, I didn't plan to spend that much, but I'll get these and I felt good about them. So that's what I got from Ross, my first Ross trip of the year. There will be plenty more. And um, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all my next one. So since this haul was so short, I just had a thought that I'm going to try to show y'all how I would style my three new pickups. That way, you know, this, you know, is that a good deal? Y'all cool with that? Okay, let's do it. Okay. My filming outfit has been exposed. <laughs> so, let's see here. This pink jacket. I have this white mini skirt and this graphic tee with these boots. That's just what comes to mind. So let's see what it's giving. Hear me out. Hear me out. All of this is off the dome, guys. Okay, that thing's really pre-planned. So just hear me out. Like, I would give this a seven and a half, a seven and a half, eight, because it's given. And really, the jacket is for the cold. And the fact that the jacket goes with the ensemble, you gotta give me points for that. And you know, cause the fit and the shape of it, you take points away for that. But the coordination of it all, the thought is there. So I say seven and a half, eight. Let me know what you would give this down below in the comments. Be nice. Thank you. Okay, off the dome. This one I had to give it a couple tries, but I like it. I like it a lot. I even added accessories. I even went a step further with this one. I'm liking it, and crazy enough, I've never worn this shirt. See, I actually like this, y'all. Y'all got y'all making me think about my outfits. I like this. I haven't gotten to really wear these shades. And then my vest is a vibe. I absolutely love my boots. You already know that. These are my favorite Levi shorts that I made and they just get too small child but it works because like I'll use it as like a relaxed look I really like this so I'm gonna give this a nine I'm gonna give this a nine because I don't even have my watch on my ring on like it's a vibe what y'all think let me know what you rate this one down in the comments but this is definitely that girl right now. 
to give but I do feel like you know it's certain body types that can pull off certain scandalous looks you know um, I'm not saying that I can't but it's just not my style but even with this I would like DIY this and like add something like a um, emblem or something because it just kind of looks like it's just there and that's not cute but this is the best that I could do so I put on my zebra platform um, and these pants are from Shein I got them for my birthday last year they were really cute I found them really cute for my birthday but I have not been able to reuse it I feel like this is giving, you know, Instagram baddie, you know, like baddie. Like this is like, you know what this is giving me? This is giving me India love, you know, baby tee, cool pants, heels. And I'm just not sure if my body type is right for this. I don't know if like, if I go out in this, it's going to give that aesthetic or it's going to give what is she doing? But since this is living on YouTube, I will live out my Indian love dreams. And I think it's super cute. I just don't know if I would wear it. You know? This is how I style this. Because it's giving, okay? You know what I'm saying? But like in out in what it's really giving, I don't know if it's a look or it's a little trashy, you know? Because of my body type. That's the only thing. I like it. I'll take pictures in it for sure. But I definitely would add something to this. And I could just wear no drawers, but again, I just don't think this is like flattering to my butt crack. That's why I even have the panties on. Excuse me while I try to see. Just give me. You know, I just feel you gotta have a certain butt crack for these pants. And I don't know if I have that butt crack. You gotta have like a cute butt crack. I got stretch marks by my butt crack. It's kind of giving. I just would have to have like all the confidence. I just don't feel like my butt crack is cute. Anyways, this is the third off the dome. I think it's a look. It's definitely an aesthetic. It's giving Indian love to me. Um, I don't know if I have the cutest butt crack for it, but. for somebody else so there you go well these are like you know some of the accessories that i might go with like my new york cap this is cute like this is cute y'all it really is and if i had my braids i probably would wear this for real but i think mm, without the thong showing like if i don't got a cute butt crack i just don't got a cute butt crack <laughs> Like it's it's supposed to be slight, you know? Um, so yeah, I do like this hat with the zebra shoes. Well, you know my Converse is, and then I also have this bucket hat that always gives my fit a vibe, you know? So yeah, with this added, I think people understand the look I'm going for and it's not just why her booty crack out, you know? At the same time, I don't really care what people, you know, because if you're not fashion minded and you're not fashion minded and that's a you problem, not a me problem. But I still have that, like, you know, my own standards to what I think my body type should do or not because I think that always makes the difference. 
and your style and when you dress for your body type. So I preach that so I have to live it, you know? But I think I could get away with it. But I probably would never wear it. I have to be on some coochie mama stuff with my, with my girlfriends, yeah. But it's definitely cute.